Lately I've been going through some hard stuff Getting knocked down, getting right back up On the mistake I made was thinking you Would have my back, but it's one way track That's right, you know I've had enough Your bad behavior isn't what I'm worth, no That's right, no I've had enough You don't see it, but I Okay, hey, beautiful people, this is the front porch right here. A few things I want to do. Let me see. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. Still got the Christmas rug down there. Yes. But I'm going to start getting this stuff and getting this together. So the very first thing that I was getting ready to do was remove everything off of the front porch. When I came out here, the kids were actually coming back from the movies. They went to the movies with their dad and you can see that they have their little snacks and such, but they were just coming back from the movies and I was like, this is perfect timing. So I had them help me out a little bit with removing the stuff off of the front porch. So you're going to see them come in and pick up a few things. Little Chris was such a big help. All the kids were a big help. The twins actually stayed the weekend with their dad. So they weren't here. So you're not going to see them in this video. But Ayana and Gianni, little Chris, London disappeared. But I did have her actually come out. And we have a huge, I don't want to say a deer problem. But we do have a ton of deer that are on our street. So they'll come in the yard and of course they do their business. So we, you know, we have to go out there and pick it up until I get a fence, which I do plan on getting a fence. They probably will still jump the fence, but until that happens, we have to go out there and pick it up. So I had London using the pooper scooper to get all of that up. So now that everything is cleared off of the porch, as you can see, we have a ton of like leaves and such that I need to get off of the porch. So I'm going to sweep this up. And as I was doing that, there were a couple spiders that kept crawling from under the siding. And if you can't tell, I do have metal siding. So the house, it's not, um, it's not, what is it like plastic siding or vinyl that's the word i'm looking for vinyl siding it's metal siding very durable there's nothing wrong with it it you know it needs a fresh coat of paint but yeah the spiders kept crawling from under there and i'm like oh my freaking goodness so I don't know if I show this in the video, but I did spray over there as well as we had a couple wasps that were trying to make a nest up in the ceiling of the porch so we did spray up there and tape that off as well so i'm going to finish spraying this and i was talking about the window here um that is an older style window and i was thinking about kind of disassembling it and possibly painting the inside of it but i did change my mind because i'm afraid to take it apart and then i won't be able to put it back together because it is an older style window so anyway i'm going to finish cleaning off the porch and then we're going to paint we're going to get the siding together as well as clean the furniture and also build the egg chair that i bought This boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall So 
So here we have the, this is like soffits, I believe they're called. I could be wrong because I'm not 100% sure on the terminology, but this was like a greenish color and I wanted to make it black because I, like I told y'all before in the back, I love the black accents around the house. And eventually I do want to get my house painted professionally. Now you can see up there is a hole where, and a few little like holes, I guess, where I think they had like a, a swing there or something like that, like a porch swing. I'm not sure it wasn't there when I bought the house, but we did see the wasp going up in there. I guess they were trying to make a nest, so we did spray up there. Well, actually, my neighbor came over. He sprayed all up in there. We let it dry, and then we taped it off with duct tape, so white duct tape. So you can't even tell the duct tape is up there, but that is to keep the wasp out, basically. So here I am going to paint all of the green soffits black, and as well as you'll see some more black paint and Ayana wanted to help me as well so she's going to be painting as well and then I did decide that I wanted to paint the siding so you'll see me spray painting the siding with some aluminum primer and aluminum spray paint which works amazing I think it's better than the one that I used in the back so you'll see that as well I did do two coats actually three coats on this green siding because I did the first coat and then I did a second coat, then I spray painted, and then I had to go back and do like little touch-ups where the white spray paint, you know, kind of uh, bled onto the black. So <laughs> you'll see me doing that. I really didn't mind. Um, it took us a couple days to get this done, but you know, just letting paint dry. And it was warmer on these days, so I wanted to make sure that everything was fully dry. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's feeling new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall my neck and shoulder area <laughs> was killing me after this it was burning after i got done with this and i think it was just basically the angle when you're looking up and painting and so forth but anyway <laughs> ayana stayed out here with me she made sure the ladder didn't move and i did have the music playing and so that's why you'll see me dancing here and there I do need to get an adjustable ladder. I'm not sure of the correct term, but I am going to paint the outside of the soffits as well. The ladder that I have is just not tall enough to paint the outside soffit. So I am going to get another one. I did see it at Home Depot. I think it's like $230 for this adjustable ladder, but I am going to go and pick that up probably within the next day or so. So it did, like I said, it did take me, I think it took me like two days to paint. And that is because you do a coat, you let it dry, you do another coat and you kind of go from there. And we were doing things in between, like cleaning the furniture and I did paint the railing. I actually need to do another coat on the railing now that I'm thinking about it. But it didn't take long. My neighbor next door, I didn't even notice him, but he was out there watching us um, from his porch and he was like are you really painting that by hand and I was like yeah he was like oh my gosh I can't believe it it looks so nice already and he was just super impressed but I was like yeah I mean how else am I supposed to paint it you know I guess maybe with a sprayer or something I'm not really sure but he sat out there and he was watching us the entire time I actually had two neighbors it was a husband and wife that is like directly across from us and then there was a husband who was sitting there watching us i've met his wife as well but yeah they i guess they were like super super impressed watching me paint and i'm thinking to myself it's just paint you know what i mean nothing it's nothing special but you know i was going to get it done no matter what
And as you can see, Ayana is painting right here. I don't know what it, she's painting as well. You're going to see her paint. And then at first I wasn't going to paint the planters. And then I was like, you know what? I think those would look nice black because right now they're just concrete. They don't move. They are, they are stuck there. They're not going anywhere. So I ended up painting the planters black. I am going to dig out all of the dirt in there and I am going to put flowers in there. Um, I do need to go and get some more uh, materials and everything. And I'm debating if I'm going to put fresh flowers or if I'm going to put faux flowers. I'm not sure because again, you know, the front porch, it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't sit out here very often, although I would love to, and that may change, um, but it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And I know you can see that my hedges are totally overgrown, which I will be getting those together in an upcoming video for you guys because I also want to transform like the yard area so the yard is a decent size we're going to put a pool out there for the kids and they have the trampoline and then I want to have like a sitting area because I have a brand new table and chair set that I want to bring out there as well so and we also have a fire pit out there that I want to fix up I don't know but I am going to do something with the yard and I do want to get a price or get a couple quotes to see how much it would be for a fence because I really would love to have a fence put out there anyway look at me doing a little dance break a little singing break you want to be cracking up she would like mom really but I can't even help it music is everything music is everything I love music so I am going to finish painting and then it did take me a minute. I, I just wanted to make sure that it looked really nice and crisp and clean. And Ayana's going to stay out here with me. We were talking, laughing, talking about the movies and everything. And she's just a sweetheart. She's She really is a sweetie. And then we're going to change the light fixture because the light did blow out on the porch. And we could not get the screws to come out for the life of me. I could not get the screws. I don't know how they got them up there. So... I am going to go to Home Depot and get some different screws to go back up there because the ones that they had in there, I don't know if they, they kind of like Jimmy rigged it so I couldn't get it down for the longest time, but we finally got it down. I changed the lights and um, I'm going to clean out the little light fixture. I would love to get like a ceiling fan or something to go up there. That is my thought process to get like a, you know, outdoor ceiling fan. So I'm thinking about that. And how that would look and how you know get someone to come out and do that but i am just going to finish painting these soffits and if that's not the right term someone can tell me <laughs> but i'm going to finish painting those i'm going to paint around the door and then we're going to move on with getting this porch together I received a comment from one of you beautiful ladies and she said <laughs> and this is so true she said you're what they call a renaissance woman you're multi-talented and can thrive in almost every setting you have to be very careful because you have so many ideas but never put enough energy into one thing to benefit from it i pray that god gives you your desires but also a clear path and the thing that will create the door you need to proceed in all that you are dreaming about. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And she is correct. So the definition of a Renaissance woman is she has a wide range of abilities and interests, especially in arts and sciences, which is true to me. I feel like that's very true. And I do, beautiful people, I, number one, I think I have ADHD. I've never been diagnosed, but I, I know for a fact I do based on my life and the way my brain works um i have to have some type of background noise going on when i'm working when I'm, it doesn't matter if i'm washing dishes if i'm at work whatever i have to have some type of background noise plan 
And then also I have a ton of different things. For example, I like to make jewelry, soaps and body butters. I love to draw. I love to paint. I love to clean. I love to organize, fold clothes, clean, um, play games. Like there's color. There's a wide range of things. And I need the way my brain is, I need to stay busy or I'll start thinking and then I overthink and then I fall into the woulda, shoulda, couldas and all of that. So I do tend to keep myself very busy, which is a good and a bad thing at the same time. So, but I do totally agree with her. <laughs> I do totally agree with her. So my kids my kids, they're amazing, but they want me to do everything. They want me to sell the soaps and the body butters and the jewelry. Oh, and I love to make shirts and t-shirts. I haven't even shown you the stuff that I've made, which I need to. Um, hoodies and different things. Be creative. I used to make the clothes, some of the clothes for the twins, guys. I'm going to have to try and find some pictures. If I can, I'm going to try and find some pictures and put it up on the um, at the end where you'll see some of the stuff that I've made for them. Um, but yeah, like sewing and just being creative. I love to be creative no matter what that looks like. I love it. What's it, it just, it makes me happy. It just makes me happy. That's the best way to put it. Um, but she's, she's totally right. And sometimes I feel like I have so many ideas that I don't know where to narrow them down and hone into like maybe one or two or even three. Like my brain is all over the place, like do this and do that. And what about this? And you could do that. And you should try this. And you should try that. And you should do this. And what they say, a jack of all trades. Um, but anyway, yes, <laughs> there's just, there's just a lot going on, a lot going on. And I don't want to disappoint or feel like I missed out on something. So anyway, thank you for the comment. I really appreciate it. And I totally agree with you. So as you can see, it was starting to get dark. The bugs were coming out. They were trying to eat us alive. I said, mm -mm, let me put this paint up. We will work on this the next day, which I did. And <laughs> I got up early, probably about nine o'clock. And as you can see, Ayana wasn't up and I didn't wake her up. I was like, you know what? Actually, let me start this. Let me go back. So my mother stayed the night, right? And she got up at four o'clock. So I was actually, I've actually been up since four o'clock in the morning with my mom. And every time she comes over and she stays, she gets up at four o'clock. That's her normal routine. But she doesn't just get up. She gets up. She turns on her music or turns on her show or whatever. She got to brew her coffee. And it's a whole thing. I'm like, mom, it's too early. It's too, it's four o'clock in the morning. It's too early. No, but if she up, we all up. So anyway, <laughs> at least I'm up anyway, because I'm a light sleeper. So I hear everything. I, you know, I smell the coffee or, you know, maybe she's doing bacon or whatever. So I didn't actually come outside until about nine o'clock in the morning. When I came out, my neighbors were across the street, were mowing their lawn. And the one next to me was mowing his lawn and doing his hedges and everything. And so, you know, people were up and out because it was actually going to be, I think, 80 something, 85 or something like that degrees on this date. 
And so people were trying to come out early and that was my plan. I was like, let me just come out here and get as much painting done as possible because it was going to be close to 90 degrees and there was no way I was going to be out here in this heat. Okay. In this heat. So I came out here and got as much done as I possibly could. And I did pretty good. I stayed out here until probably about one o'clock. So that was pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to actually paint around the door. And I knew when I saw this house so if you don't know, when I was purchasing my home, I knew what area I wanted to be in. So I saw one house on my own. You know how you go on to, I think it was Z Zillow or one of those places, and I scheduled a walkthrough, and the first house I saw was way too small. I mean, the rooms were like a yawn of size. So I said, nope, I don't want to do that. And then I found a realtor and we saw three houses. This was the first house that I saw with her. And I said, this is the house. And she was like, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's look at a couple more, you know. And I was like, okay, we can do that. But I'm telling you, this is the house. So then we saw two more and the houses were small. There was one that had a garage, but it had no place for the kids to play. It had like a back um, patio, but it hasn't had no grass or anything for the kids to play. And then the other one didn't even have that. It had like a little tiny little walkout area from the kitchen. And I was like, nope. And so I was like, uh, the house had to have a certain number of rooms. It had to have at least two bathrooms. It had to have a nice kitchen, nice size kitchen. And it had to have an area where my kids could go outside and play and feel safe. And so she was like, but this house needs a lot of work. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. I'm okay with that. I didn't want a house that was completely done because I know, you know, number one, it's going to be more money, but also I wanted to put my own little touch, my own little stamp on it. I bet you think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you. So as soon as I saw the house, I knew immediately like ideas were flooding my head. I had all kind of ideas. I could do this. I could do that. I could save my money, get somebody to do this. We could move this, do that. Like I have a whole idea of what I want my kitchen to look like when I have the money to redo it. You know, I have all kind of ideas and that's the beauty of owning your own space, your own home. Like you can change it up and do what you want with it, you know. So, yeah, when I saw this house, I'm like, oh, my gosh, those built in bookcases or bookshelves in the living room are beautiful. I can see this and the kitchen and we can do this in the dining room and I can do this and make this the kids room and this, that, that. Yeah. And so every time I do something to the house, I send pictures and videos to my realtor and she's just blown away. I was like, I'm telling you, I, I have ideas and I know that we can make it happen. I know I can make it happen. So yes, when I saw this house, I had a true vision of what it could actually be. Now, when I tell y'all that this black is popping, okay, imagine having a crisp white house. And I'm not sure I want my house to be white because I, I feel like I want it to be like a, maybe a lighter gray or a navy blue or whatever, but I know that I want the black accents on the house and I'm just loving it. I love the stained glass windows. There's so much character in this older house. It, I just love it. I can't wait until I redo my entryway and the steps and everything. Oh my gosh. I had someone come in and give me a quote on that. Everything is going to be so beautiful. I'm just one day at a time, guys, one day at a time. I have to tell myself, pace yourself one day at a time. It's going to happen. And I'm so looking forward to it. You know we should work it out. You know we should work it out. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you. Ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted?
it slow Work things out so you don't let me go When I come real close I don't wanna get hurt Cause I'm not ready To give you my heart yet Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better So I received another comment that made me think of Ayana, and I'm going to read this to you. And it says, hey, Siobhan, I love your videos. You are such an inspiration to a lot of women. Ever since my husband has been sick, I have not been able to do the things I used to. Therefore, I get a little depressed, and it takes me a while to get back on track. That's when I watch YouTube. It helps me a lot. Be blessed and continue to bless us with your videos. The other day, Ayana and I were talking and she was like, Mom, you're such an inspiration to so many women. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, thank you so much, baby. I appreciate that. She was like, no, I don't think you really understand. She was like, you are such an inspiration. You have six kids. You know, you bought this house by yourself. You know, you're going through a divorce. You're taking care of all of us. You know, you're so loving. You do whatever you can for us. You're taking care of this house. You're making it our home. And she just kept going on and on. And I'm like, wow, you know, sometimes you kind of, you're just in the moment, right? So every day I know that I need to get up. I got to get myself together. I got to get the twins together. The older kids like London and Chris and Yana, they can, you know, do that on their own, right? But also, I need to go to work. I need to make sure that when I come home that the kids have something healthy to eat. You know, I ask them about their day. How was your day? Did anything happen? What were the good points, the highlights of your day? You know, is there anything we need to talk about? Did you and one of your friends have an argument? You know, and I'm going on and on. And it's basically, I'm just trying to get through the day, guys, to be honest with you. I want to let them know that I love them, but some days I am just spent. I am spent and it can be a little challenging, but you still got to keep going. So I'm like, okay, all right, now everybody has eaten. Do we need to wash any clothes? What's happening the next day? Um, you know, do I have class? Let me get this work done that I have for class or whatever. And I'm just trying to get through the day. And then when I lay down, I just turn on something mindless and I'm a big, huge horror person. Like I love horror movies. I love zombie movies. Um, I love, love, love action. But the first thing I put on is some type of horror movie, guys, all the time. And so, <laughs> you know, and then I'm like, okay, my day is over. I try, I stay up late sometimes because I think that's just my quiet time. And I know that as soon as I wake up, the day starts all over again. So I'm not really thinking about how I am an inspiration to people. And you kind of forget, but I do thank everybody. I mean, I love and thank y'all so much for y'all beautiful comments, for telling me that I'm an inspiration. I'm just trying to be the best person, the best version of myself, the best Siobhan, the best mom that I could possibly be and the best daughter. You know, my mom had something traumatic happen to her you know, I had to go over there and see what's going on and, and help her out and, you know, try to be there for my sisters when things are going on in their life. And I'm just trying to be a good friend. It's hard. It can be hard. It, it really can. But I am so, so thankful that I am able to be available when people need me, that I am available when my kids need me, even when they want to just talk and throw their little ideas out there. London talks to me all the time about starting her own little business and the twins, they're like, mom, when are you making your soaps? Like they want to help make the soaps and the body butters and the different things. They want to, they love that. And I'm just very thankful to God that I have a sane mind. You know what I mean? Like I'm in my right frame of mind, even when I'm sad and depressed. And if you don't know, I do take antidepressants every day, every day. If I don't take them, um, trust me, I, I know I've, I've been in a very dark place. <laughs> I've been in dark places several times in my life and I have to, it's not a secret. I'm not a, ashamed of it or anything like that. 
Um, but I, I do. I know me. I know my body. I know when I'm going down that rabbit hole. My BFF, she knows. Ayana can pick up on it really quickly and really well. And when she was away at school, she would call and be like, Mom, did you take your medicine? Mom, did you take your medicine? How are you feeling today? And I'm like, I should be worried about you. But she's very good. And she picks it up. She picks up on things very quickly. She very observant, very. And so, yeah, like, again, some days I have to stay busy so that I do not think of, you know, all of the woulda, shoulda, couldas. Like, Siobhan, why did you let yourself get that big? And then you had to have surgery and then you got sick. And then like, I can go on and on instead of, you know what? God allowed me to get this surgery, to lose weight. I am healthy. I have more energy. I can do more with my kids. I'm happier and blah, blah, blah. You know, so you just have to, I have to remind myself to find the positive. And that's why I try to position myself around positive people, around intelligent people, around happy people. And even though things do happen in our lives, I have to find the positive for it all, for it all, because we all have things that happen and go on in our lives. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. You have to keep pressing through. And every day is a new day to do something different, to change, to make it better, to be a blessing to someone, you know, all of that. So yeah, I just had to throw that out there. I had to throw that out there. And again, guys, let me just tell you, I love this black. I love the black. This is the limousine leather. This is an exterior paint that I bought from Home Depot and I love it. Absolutely love it. So again, I am going to take the dirt out of these planters. I think I'm going to do faux plants because I just like the way they look and I don't have to worry about taking care of them. And I know they're going to last the entire summer. <laughs> So I did try some different spray paint. This is the aluminum primer. So in the back, I did not do that. I just sprayed um, the vinyl, not the vinyl, the metal siding in the back. In the front, I wanted to try something different. So I did use the aluminum primer. I bought two cans of that. I used both cans and then I bought the aluminum spray paint. And I absolutely love the way this spray paint went on. Also guys, get you a trigger for the spray the can of spray paint it makes things so much easier it's so easy to hold you don't have to worry about pressing it down like the trigger i think i paid 
maybe seven or eight dollars for this trigger and then i have one that i paid five dollars for i think i have a couple of those to be honest with you but it's it's an investment you're going to use it over and over again if you spray paint like i do i mean if you're going to use it but it makes holding the spray cans so much easier okay so much easier so again i did do the primer and then i did the spray paint and i bought three cans of the aluminum spray paint to put on here it was just white you'll see it um, towards the end and it freshened everything up and then i went back again like i said i touched up around the the space where the black where i had to do more black which is fine i didn't even mind i should have just spray painted the aluminum siding first <laughs> but i didn't and it didn't matter i just went and touched it up but i absolutely love it i would definitely recommend this spray paint it's by rust-oleum it was like 9.70 a can and it's definitely worth it if you're going to do this definitely worth it Now I am going to just clean off, hose off this patio furniture. And yes, guys, it needed to be hosed off. And that was my fault because it should have, well, number one, it would have needed to be hosed off anyway. But I will be covering it up this winter. I will be getting covers to go over it to keep it nice and um, covered for the winter the winter months because I want to make sure that I preserve this. This is quality furniture, quality furniture. I forget where this came from, but I will put it in the description box. This furniture is definitely quality. Quality. It's a sectional. You can move it around. You can change it up. I can do a couple different um, configurations of it, but I will say I absolutely love it. It's super nice and it's like a dark brown, almost black, but it's a dark brown. And you'll see the color scheme that I'm going with in the second video. Guys, everything is tying in so nicely, which I absolutely love. And again, I didn't spend a ton of money, but I will give you a breakdown of everything in the final video reveal. I do want to get a fire pit to put on, like a fire pit table to put on the front porch. I think Target had them on sale. I'm going to go and look again. But the cheapest one that I found was like $250. I don't know if I want to spend that for a table. We'll see. Because I'm not out here very often. But I would love to be out here very often if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm spraying off all of the furniture. I do end up taking the seat cushions off of the furniture and putting them in the washing machine. Because I just felt like it didn't get as clean as I wanted it to be. So while I was spraying that off, that gave the siding a chance to dry and this is fast drying primer and spray paint so it did dry pretty quickly so here I am using the spray paint to paint the the metal siding and you're gonna see how it brightens everything up I know it looks a little I want to say splotchy or blotchy right now and that's okay think about when you paint something the first coat goes on and it's not it looks you know like 
it didn't cover everything. It's not supposed to cover every little thing, but it's supposed to give you a base for your paint to stick onto, which it did, okay, it did. So you're gonna see that it freshens this up, and I did use all three cans of spray paint, and it freshened it up so nicely. I, I love it, absolutely love it. And then again, I did go back and touch up all the black where the white spray paint got on it, and that didn't take me long at all. I did get these faux flowers from Amazon, which I love, these hanging baskets. Absolutely love them, great investment. They were, I think, $30 per basket. And guys, I can have these for years to come. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to fade. Next time I go to Home Depot, I wanna get some, it's like faux flower spray to keep them from fading. I believe that's what it is. I've seen people use it on, you know, in their videos. So I'm gonna look for it at Home Depot and I am gonna spray it on these flowers. But these are amazing. They look super real. It was so funny. My son said, Mom, you put flowers up there again. How are you gonna get up there to water them? I'm like, baby, these are fake. We don't have to water them. Don't they look so pretty? And so we were laughing because <laughs> I know this is kind of cruel, but whenever the bees would fly to them, they're like, they would just come over for a minute and then they fly away because they're fake. So I don't have to worry about the bees and everything because we're deathly afraid of them, me and the kids. Like we don't want to deal with them at all whatsoever. Um, but these flowers are fake and I got three baskets. So I got yellow to go in the back and I got these pink ones to go in the front and they're gorgeous and they serve their purpose. They give me that pop of color, which we were looking for.
If you made it this far in the video, leave me a flower emoji to let me know. And let me know if y'all like these flowers. Like, I'm, guys, I'm going to give y'all a close up. They really are beautiful. They look so real. And that's what I was going for. Like, they look so real. Last year, I think I spent over $300 buying flowers. And yes, they died because we, we didn't sit on the porch. Number one, we don't come in this way. So out of sight, out of mind, okay? But you have to get the hose or the, you know, and the ladder. Like, I can't just reach up there and water them, okay? So, yeah, no, they were out of sight, out of mind. I said, you know what? I'm going to get me some faux flowers. I love the way these look. I'm sorry. These are amazing. So now I'm getting ready to put the furniture back. And I did order a new rug off of Amazon. It is an outdoor rug. I will have that linked. I believe I already have it linked in the Amazon store for you. It's an outdoor rug. It's more of a deeper gray color instead of like black and white because I'm going with black, tan, and brown and gray. And you'll see that it's, it's going to come together. It's going to come together. Um, but my oldest daughter is going to come over here and help me momentarily. She saw me struggling, saw me struggling. And I was like, oh, I wonder if this is big enough. But this is this rug is bigger than the one back on the back porch. And I was like, yeah, this is perfect. We're going to put the furniture down. It's, it's perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I wanted. And like I said, it's like a darker gray. I have some pillow covers that I ordered from Amazon, as well as I have some artwork that I'm going to put up and just a few other things to kind of make the porch pop. So you'll see that. But yeah, I love the way everything comes together. It, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. I love it so, 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 so much. I will have the next video out for you guys very shortly. I want to definitely get everything decorated. And of course, you know, the kids love the egg chair. They couldn't wait to sit in here in the egg chair. Now, this egg chair is slightly bigger than London's egg chair in her room, but it was cheaper. And so I think I did link that for you down below. I got it off of Amazon. It was, it was a what, about... You have to look at my Amazon storefront, guys. But it was so worth it. I mean, so worth it. I love it. And I'll get a cover to cover this up when the winter comes. And if I need to, it's super easy to take apart and it can go in the basement. So it's not a big deal at all whatsoever. This day that I'm working was like 87 degrees, guys. It was hot. It was getting hot. Okay, it was getting hot. So I'm like, okay, guys, we got to hurry up. I don't want to be out here all day but we're going to put the egg chair together i'm going to wash these cushions and yeah the porch is slowly coming together look at the siding guys look at the metal siding isn't it beautiful and it was like a satin so i know it's a little shiny it'll doll down eventually but i love the way it looks i love the way it looks it looks so amazing so amazing Just different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love You like when you feel like calling me You got the best of me me since we yeah. I been hopeful, baby. I was hoping maybe that you cross my path. Mm -hmm. I've been sinking lately, and it's hard to move. Think I'm stuck on you. Boy, in transit, going off to different places, different planets. Watch your own. So Gianni did help me put
put the chair together and little Chris brought up the rest of the cushions and we were all just kind of working together as a team. Ayana was in the house doing a few things and I believe she does pop her head out momentarily. <laughs> Gianni is a, is, is a trip just like me. Anyway, it didn't take us long to put this together at all. It's just a couple pieces, which I really, really like. And I definitely would recommend purchasing this for sure. So we're going to put this together, try it out, make sure we like it. And then in the next video, I'm going to start decorating and bringing a few more things in so that y'all can see how everything comes together. The porch is such a nice size. It, it's very comfortable. There's enough room for everybody. We do plan on having a cookout for the 4th of July, so that's really nice. And, you know, just bringing family together. I'm always inviting my family over. They don't come over very often. They don't because they feel like I live in another state, but I do invite them over. So it'll be nice to be able to sit out here or on the back porch to grill a little bit and just have family time out here. So I did clean off the screen door as well. You're going to see that. And yeah, guys, when I tell you that they love this egg chair, absolutely love it. I want one in my bedroom, to be honest with you. They're so comfortable. Such a great deal. But I am going to clean off the screen door. And I did use the alcohol and 
the al what is it alcohol water and a little bit of dish soap and i cleaned the door off very well and i feel like it did a, an awesome job guys i really do i wiped it off with the paper towels and i feel like it did an awesome job i haven't found the reef that i want yet but that's coming as well but yeah thank y'all so so much for watching i love y'all to the moon and back and i will see y'all in the next video bye how much you messing with me how much you messing with me